So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to see what functions are in C. And why the hell does every one of my video for C programming begins with a pun, even though I don't intend it to. So anyway, starting off with again with that similar weird syntax we had, I'm going to start off with including stdio.h, right? And we're going to go ahead and get int main just like we had earlier. So here we are. Now, what we have to do is we have to create a function and actually learn about them in the first place. So what a function do is a function is responsible for decoupling some of your logic from your application. Now, what do I mean by that is, for example, printing to console is a function, right? Now, it might involve one line or it might involve a lot of lines, but you do not really want to repeat that over and over again in your code. So what you do is you take out that part and put it in a different function. For example, we could have a function which calculate the square root of a number, right? So I might use this functionality, I might use this feature again and again in my application over and over. So I do not really want to copy paste that code again and again, because um, what happens if I find a bug in one part and I want to change it? Now I have to do it at all the places I'm using that particular code. So what I do is I create a sort of a function which encapsulates all the logic. And later on in my code, I can call it like this, right? So I can call it anywhere and it would execute all the statements inside this. Basically all the things I write inside these two curly braces. So to begin with, what, what we need for a function is a data type at the front. Now this could be anything you want, anything you want at the moment and the name of the name of the function. In this case, the name of the function is function itself, but you can name it anything you like as long as it is, as it is valid. Right. So let's just name it code down and let's just give this an int value. So what happens now, now what we're going to do is we're going to execute this function right here by saying just code down. What this is, is what happens with functions is a fundamental concept that they would run a bunch of instructions and then they would return a result to the calling function so that you know the calling function knows what it has done or what has actually happened right so for example if i had if, <coughs> if i take up the previous example of calculating square root right now i do a bunch of stuff here and then finally i return the value that is the actual square root value so for example, if someone wanted to have a square root of four, then we're going to return two right here inside the return value. So return is a keyword which is used to return a single value finally from a function, right? So whenever you call this as calculate square root, what happens is as if a single two was written here, right? So this is equivalent to this. Similarly, I can store this result like this and basically this is equivalent to this right now so you see it just returns two that means this thing right here is equivalent as if i have written just this this statement right here but we're going to keep it like this because eventually what we would be able to do is pass in some values here and get um, dependent output not really a static value out of this so this is how in a nutshell c functions work and we're going to make use of tons of them throughout the series and uh, in general as well. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.